Oh god, I nearly did it again. I always forget that I'm making a YouTube video. <laughs> then I crack on and I'm like, oh no, you need to show people. So this is where we're at in here. Just popping the uh, the uh, toilet on and this is one of the bits I need to show you. So when you're doing this, um, make it up, put the little washer on here. Do you know what? I haven't greased it at all like an idiot. Always grease it. But look, put this on. Put some silicone grease on, not like me, being an idiot. Push that in and then you see this permanent marker line here. When that's pushed in, say there, it's lined up with the pan. And then what I do is in there, I get my little measuring tape, or in this case a split roll. Slide that in until you feel the, the stop, which is there, right? And then what I'm gonna do is get a level across there like that. So that's where my pan's gonna finish. And when that goes in up to where it stops there, I can see that that's 130. I'm gonna go onto my mark here, go about 130 from that mark there. See the permanent marker? You cut that off and that's the that's gonna be the, the distance, the perfect distance for that. It's exactly what I did with this one, but I forgot to show you that. But it's the same principle. Um, so yeah, slide that in there. And then um, what I'm gonna do is just screw them bolts back enough. So you see you've got your pan here like this. Basically, you just wanna stick that bolt through enough. So I'm gonna choose, say that sort of distance, about 20 mil in, something like that. And then I'm gonna choose a nice number, so like 70. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna screw them back to 70 to there. So I'm gonna wind that into there and then that should be the perfect distance and then we can bolt it on. You know what, I'm cutting these flush pipes. This is when this Nipex 902301, it just is like perfect for it. You set it up on 40 mil, you can do three different settings. So there's 32 mil, 40 and 50 mil. And obviously on the 40 mil one, and cut this flush, flush plate. And it not only cuts it, it chamfers it at the same time. So, get it there. So, you see, it just puts like a nice little chamfer on that. So, when I push that into that O ring in there, it's not going to deburr or anything, but it's perfect. It's not going to sort of force the washer out, it's just going to slide in nicely. So, like so. Lovely, perfect. Then obviously just making sure it's level. I've got one of these, it makes life very easy because I do a lot of them, but you can just use a spanner or something. 19 millimeter, we have a joker, and then just try and keep it up the right way. See that, that, was, that rod was just stuck through 20 mil, wasn't it? Let's see, it's gonna end up perfect. I absolutely love it when it's just a bolt and a nut like this. Some other ones, they come with like, these little like rods that go down. You have to get an Allen key underneath and do it up with like a grub screw and it's just ridiculous. So really like that. That's gone absolutely solid. Now, those of you that are worried about Wukong kong pans and whatnot. Now, a lot of the work goes into the frame and how strong you make it and making sure it's absolutely solid. You've got the little wedges at the back. That, if you get that bit correct, and you're not just putting a couple of screws in, make sure it's absolutely solid. That, apparently, you can take, you can put 400 kilos on that pan. <laughs> so there's not a, don't worry about weight or anything like that. So that's super strong. So that's been bolted on like that. Um, I'm gonna pop some silicon around and that'll make it look really nice and be done. So that's on. Next step is this flush plate. I'm gonna screw this on. You just follow the instructions on that. It's all quite simple. Um, yeah, and give it a test. So I'm just gonna turn this water on. You see that in there? A little bit of there? So you just get your, you can't do it, but you just get your hand in there. Oh, I've done that all the time now. <laughs> I've got silicon grease on my hands. <laughs> oh, I need to put my glove on. I can't do it. Oh, right. Here we go. Nice when you get a bit of grip. So I've 
turn that all the way and what I'm going to do is just half a turn back. Start to fill that up. Give a little test. Right, so this is the first time I've used this techie frame. I'm actually really impressed with it for the price. So I've got the frame and this Drew of it rimless toilet here, soft close seat for £400 all in, which I think is bloody brilliant. So I'm going to do my best to do this one handed, but you can see that hooks in under these two. So it will, it will, when you press the button, can I do it? When you press the button through here, basically, so you push the button, it lifts, it lifts them up. And then that, that lifts that I'll show you. So you lift either one or the other, or both. So that flushes. That's all it is. It's like a tank of water. And then this little thing here has a washer that sort of is like the plug. It's like the when you put the plug in the basin, it's like the plug at the bottom of the cistern. And then you lift that up and it pulls the plug out but holds it up. All the water flushes down. And then at the end it puts the plug back in. It's as simple as that. I'll try and do this one-handed. Forgive me if I can't, I'll give up. Basically what we're gonna do is hook them in there. that down in there that's it that's got underneath them little tabs there now this is quite strange actually so it comes with these long long screws here right and all you have to do there's that little hole there look trying to do the camera and do this at the same time it's great fun and then that one goes up there so watch this right so you should push that in like so you push this one in like so. There's like loads of different options, but this is this is the options for this frame. So you push that in, that great hole like that. It's really weird, right? So you just kind of like push it. And then when it's there, I was like, oh, that that's not right. But you do, you do these up. Look, it starts to, <laughs> starts to bite it. So I don't know what wizardry that is, but that's, that's genius. I nearly didn't think it was right the first time, but it, that is just what it says in the instructions. And it does tighten up. There we go. Let's get a hold of that. What you do, you get these things out. It's telling me to put it in at that angle. Right, so you get the little hole in, and then there we go. And you see, you see it kind of like married up, look. And then you just push it. There we go. You just push it in right to the edge. When you can't push anymore, you just click it in. Same for this black one in here. All the way in, click it in like so. Now with this, I believe, you just click it in. See these little edges here? By the looks of it, they clip into this. Clip, 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 clip. So you can see what happens here. So this button, you push, you push that, which inevitably pushes that which then flushes the toilet so i think you just push it on like this i could be wrong here hello do you know what i was right it just needed two hands so you just push it on and clip it in that's on nice nice little flush as you can see by that, that's the bigger flush. That's a small flush, so wee poo. <laughs> right, so I'm going to be using the excess worktop that I bought for in there for the lid on top of the toilet. So I've just spent ages marking it all out. It, the back wall is completely out. Look, I don't know if you can even see it, but it's, all, it's, it's terrible. So that's going to be a couple of cuts and then to get this one done first and bonk it on top. So that's my final cut. Let's give it a go, shall we? Lovely. It's cutting nicely. Perfect. Perfect. So all I've got to do now is go to Howden's and get some of this edging here and stick that on and we're good to go. Just sit in, I've got silicone around, around the toilet. Ooh, happy with that.
Well, I'm giving this a go. So, I've had to buy five meters of this. And uh, I've asked my mate Kane for some advice because I haven't done it before. But he told me to get some of this contact adhesive. It's really weird, right? So you have to, you have to apply it and then sort of spatula it out a little bit so it's all even. Do the same for this side on the back of that. Leave it five, what, well, five to 10 minutes is what it says. So it's sort of dry and then you just push it on. <laughs> so weird, mate, I would never have done that. If I, like, it's only he said it for me, but then when I read the instructions, he was right. It's just mad, I'd never have done that. I would have just like stuck it on straight away. <laughs> and gone, why is it not working? <laughs> but he also said I will get a, a router, but I haven't got one of them. So I'm just gonna stick it on and then try and file it down tomorrow. So I've cut that as best I can. So there isn't too much work to do. Let's stick it on and see how we get on. You know what, given that that's my first time doing that, really happy with that. So as you see, I've put the silicone around the edge. I even cut a bit of strip on the underside here. So it looks nice here, I haven't got that. Cause I wanted the overhang to be the same as this side. I did a bit of under there. I thought that looks really nice. I know no one's ever gonna look down here, but I thought, it's all details, isn't it? But yeah, well happy with that. Right, I think what will finish that off nicely, the big old mirror. So I templated that. I'm gonna go and see if I can get one cut. We can pop that on tomorrow. It'd be nice, or whenever it's ready.